Hi planners, thanks so much for tuning in to my YouTube channel. It's me, Chloe from Club Tree Plans. And in this video, I'm bringing all the fall and Gilmore Girls vibes with my planner set up and plan with me. So I cannot wait to plan with you all, chat with you. If you are a Gilmore Girls fan or just a fan of the autumn season in general, please stick around all the way till the end because I think you'll like this plan and chat with me. Let's not waste any time and get right into this video. If you're new to my channel welcome if you're a true blue subscriber welcome back don't forget to subscribe to my channel it helps me grow here on youtube and don't forget that i will have links in the comments and description if you see anything you like in this video and i appreciate anyone who uses or even just clicks my links i almost forgot to go ahead and comment a blue heart emoji if you're a true blue subscriber i appreciate all of you for watching my channel and coming back so getting right into it, I currently have my Erin Condren 7x9 vertical planner in a, I guess you could say, a clear folio. And I'm thinking about changing that cover because I want to make it more fall themed. Now, even if you don't use this planner, I think watching Plan With Me videos is a great opportunity to just get your planner out, plan alongside me no matter what planner you're using. So let's get into that. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with a fall theme cover again, and I was trying to decide between these three. Apparently the floral cover is indeed fall themed, but um, I feel like the pumpkins were just standing out. And so those of you who are new, I am so sorry they no longer offer this pumpkin themed cover at Erin Condren, but they do have another pumpkin cover that I can link in the comments and description below so we do have fall themed covers with Erin Condren just not this specific one and I'll go ahead and link those for you so going ahead and switching this out and I really just wanted to make sure I'm able to use them so I might be switching this cover out like every week but let me know in the comments which planner cover is your favorite that you can see in this video do you prefer the pumpkins the leaves or the more floral uh, print there now, I started this video with the Gilmore Girls inspired mug um, just because, y'all, I love watching Gilmore Girls in the fall. I'm actually a new fan. I didn't start watching it until maybe last year. And so I was re-watching it and my husband came in the living room and he said, uh, why are you watching that again? You just watched it. And I was like, mind your business because it's a comfort show. He was like, okay. Um, but let me know in the comments what your favorite comfort show is. Um, I just like watching it in the fall. It's a good nice fall vibe but let me know in the comments what is your comfort show if you have one or do you always like watching new things he definitely judged me for watching it but he has his own comfort shows as well so he was trolling me i'm all set up with my pumpkin cover and i just love the the foiling and i will say that the new Aaron Condren covers also have that really fun metallic vibe going i don't even know if i've shown you all this planner just yet on my channel maybe once um, but it's still a new planner. I'm still getting comfy in this planner setup. Um, this planner is more for memory keeping and, um, designing, I guess, like pl trying out new planners, new stickers, um, new inserts, new covers. Um, it's really just, just a fun planner. So not a lot of productivity going on here, but if you're looking for that, um, I do still fill it out in this video. So no worries. And I'm using my wrong, wrong autumn charm sticker book which i love now a couple things about the sticker book one wrong wrong um oftentimes has sales and promotions so check my comments as well as the description to see if there's a sale happening right now two i do have a code chloe 10 so you can save 10 percent by using my code and then three it's a gilmore girls inspired sticker book so i'm kind of obsessed um with the different references to gilmore girls so i think you all will like it too and then also Another thing is, um, Wrong Wrong is on TikTok shop and oftentimes has deals there as well. So I have her linked in my TikTok and my TikTok shop, TikTok shop. Um, and I wasn't expecting that. So I thought that was pretty cool. And sometimes those deals are better because like she'll have, um, free shipping for TikTok shop. I think TikTok sets that up, but either way, um, if you want to benefit from some of those, let me know. I'll put my TikTok link somewhere here so you can check it out. But I thought that was pretty cool and I just kind of discovered that this week. So far for the fall, I've had quite a few uh, fall plans and goals. So the other day I went out with my friends. We walked around Chinatown um, in Chicago and got a fall drink and just like kind of had a good time walking around, 
we checked out a couple accessory stores for like some fun fall themed accessories like jewelry um and that was kind of cool and then we went out to eat um and like i said my friends got some like bakery uh fall treats so i've been trying to like throw some little activities in while it's still nice out um and like just really good weather here in the midwest so let me know in the comments what your fall plans are i did think about trying to do like a pumpkin patch date although i'm a little bit apprehensive because i don't have kids so when i go to these things sometimes they just feel very kid centered um but i might try to see if they have like an adult pumpkin patch night type vibe um but let me know in the comments what your fall themed plans are if you have any plans that you want to bring to real life for this season um i definitely just want to have like a couple of days where i go downtown and just explore on a fall day just because i like i said it's not too hot not too cold and we only get a few of those days here so i want to take full advantage the number one um question that i've been getting on my youtube videos is Folks want me to do a review of the Erin Condren Petite Planning System for 2025. I finally have that in my possession. I just got it in the mail last week, so I have not been holding out on you. I just received it, and I can't film it until I actually receive it. So I finally have it in my possession. I'm going to film it um, and post it here probably this week um, if you're watching this in real time. So please bear with me. It takes me some time to receive the product from the company and then film it and then upload it. it just takes a little bit of time so um if you were patiently waiting thank you so much um and sorry about the delay i just didn't have it in my hands yet <laughs> so i had to wait i had to wait for it in order to film it so i am working on that now and i'm really excited about some of the new things that they brought to the petite planner collection like the clear folio as soon as i saw the clear clear folio for the coiled planners i knew that i would love it for the petites and so in seeing that i love it i do have um some suggestions as well you know me <laughs> y'all know i love to be honest with you on my channel i gotta tell you the real I, I got some suggestions um some things that i'd love for them to to do with the petites um and then also i have a lot of the themed petites so i have the dailies but then i also have like the gratitude and the to-do list and like productivity and trackers so i have more than just um the petite dated petites i have the other ones too so can't wait to share those and then of course you know i'm gonna do a setup video and um so for those of you who have been bearing with me through my A5 agenda videos <laughs> and waiting for a petite video, I got it coming. When it comes to planning in my planner, I typically um, just try to find like a balance. So for example, like a balance between the more illustrative designs and the boxes. And then I just go from there and I try to leave a decent amount of space for writing. I don't do a full sticker spread, um, but I do try to, to have a decent amount of stickers. So I decided on this spread, I wasn't going to use that bottom section. So I'm going to go ahead and use, um, the top boxes for a little decor and then i'll fit in a few routine things that i want to um and then i just try to balance it all out and have a nice balance going i love 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 the gazebo from gilmore girls being on here and then also the pumpkins and all that fun stuff so what i love about this sticker book is that whether you're into that show or not um there are also other fall themed stickers that i think you will like either way so let me know in the comments what your kind of fall vibe is this year. I'd love to know. And um, I'm loving all the pumpkins as well. Now, when it comes to content, I do try to reach out to you all to see what you would like to see on my channel. Um, lots of folks want to see fall themes. So I've been integrating that in the channel. Um, also, I know a lot of folks want to see the petite planners. I've been doing that or get, I'm going to get back to that because um, they have a January start coming up. And then also I've been doing my daily duo videos quite a bit on here in my A5 agenda um, and again, vertical. So let me know if there is another spread or layout you really want to see and I can kind of show you how I would decorate and, and plan in there. Um, I've been using my daily grind planner quite a bit as well. So let me know if you want to see the daily grind layout. Um, but another thing I've heard you all say is that you really want to see me writing in it. Now, I'm going to write in this planner in this video. <laughs> so let's go ahead and talk pens. So I've been enjoying this Pentel Energel um, pen. It's 0 0.7. And I just think it's really smooth. Now, this blend, uh, Zebra Blend pen is a little thicker, which I actually like better. But it was acting a little bit... I don't know like it wasn't quite as smooth as the inner gel pen 
And then I pulled out my Villa Beautiful pen and I really like Villa Beautiful. Um, and so I decided to roll with that. So again, I'll try to, do, to put links below. And that Villa Beautiful pen is very close to the Zebra, I mean the Inner Gel. It's just a little less thick, just a little bit. So I think the Villa Beautiful pen might be like 0 0.5 or 0 0.6 and then the Inner Gel is 0 0.7. But I just went ahead and decided to use the Erin Condren marker as like, um, I guess you could say like a header font or header color and so i'm going to throw around a little bit of green a little bit of teal um as i kind of like categorize some things in my planner and then i'm going to go in with the black pen because i couldn't decide if i wanted to do black or blue or i guess this is green couldn't decide if i wanted to do the black or the green and i was like well i kind of just want to do both so um i'm just going to go in make some little headers and then go ahead and write so i think this is a great time for you to go ahead and whether you're doing it in your phone or in your planner go ahead and write a few topics subjects things you want to plan if you aren't in a planner rut and for those of you who are planner vets and you don't really need that inspo then just use this time to update your planner your trackers whatever it is that you like to do and then i'll come back and we'll chat more about um 2025 planner stuff Something that I've been really wanting to do is a Sunday reset day. So I try to leave my Sundays fairly open after I would say 2 p.m. Just to kind of like get my brain um, a, t a chance to rest and get ready for the upcoming week. So I really want to start doing like a Sunday reset or a Sunday list. And it could literally just be like a couple self-care things I want to do for myself, um, something around the house that I want to do, um, a fun project, but just something to kind of give myself time and space to be intentional about self-care. And so let me know in the comments if there's any self-care activity that you really love. Some of the self-care activities I've been doing have been walking, um, reading is a big one for me, um, and watching TV mindlessly. <laughs> I'm not a big TV watcher, so when I do get a chance to like just watch TV and zone out, it's kind of nice. Um, but anything where I'm like not just scrolling on my phone, which is funny how 
it used to be the like TV rots your brain. Now it's like social media. <laughs> like it just depends. For me, it just depends. I think there's a difference between me like intentionally looking up YouTube videos and enjoying them and like mindlessly scrolling on TikTok and Instagram. I, th I just think there's a clear difference for me. So I've just, as long as it's intentional, I don't mind having like a little recreation. But my problem is like if I'm scrolling and spending that time and not realizing that I'm doing it, like I'm not being intentional. I'm just kind of getting like sucked into a time warp that I don't enjoy. And so um, I've just been trying to find a good balance there. But doing no screens after a certain time of day really has been helping me and I feel so refreshed when I'm just like off of my phone off of my my tablet for a certain amount of hours and what's been helping me with that is audiobooks even though technically I'm doing it on my phone I'll play them through Alexa or through a speaker and it's just been really nice to do that so Anyway, let me know um, how you feel about that and if you feel like you need a reset when it comes to social media or even just whatever entertainment you're taking part in or just having self-care time. Now let's talk 2025 planners. I have no idea what I want my planner lineup to be. <laughs> I know for a fact I'm going to have my Erin Condren planner, my um, vertical, this one right here as well as the petite planner and the a5 agenda probably just going back and forth like i always do in those two planners depending on the quarter and then i also want to do some kind of i know the daily the daily grind i'm hoping they come out with a weekly for me because i really just see myself being able to do a good weekly for the daily grind but i know it's a daily system so not sure how that will work but i think i think i need the daily grind to be more of a weekly planner for me like a goal planner and then Moxie Life. I love me a good Moxie Life planner. So I need that system in my life. Um, I need the Moxie Life planner. So let me know in the comments if there's another planner you'd like to see on my channel in 2025. So I was trying to decide if I want to put this planner in my Fuchsia or my Wisteria, I think, cover. And I think the Wisteria just flows a little bit better. So I decided to rock with that. And I'll have the link to that cover, this uh, cover in my description and comments as well as the coffee mug that I showed you with the Gilmore Girls and my Wrong Wrong Autumn Charm. Please grab a Wrong Wrong Fall sticker book if you've been thinking about it. It is the best and I have my coupon code there too. I just love it so much. I have no regrets. Um, I think you won't have any regrets. I love this sticker book. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video and if you plan alongside me, feel free to always put my videos on the TV, whatever works for you. I think this is a great time for us to plan together and I love it. Make sure you comment if you enjoyed the video and use those links if you decide to make a purchase. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you all in the next video.